<laughs> oh, I, I will have to have the. I will have to see it before it goes out. I promise you. I'm not me doing yeah, it though. Touch your face. Hmm? I'm not me doing it. Yes. <laughs> right. Where are we up to? Okay, you ready? Is it is it recording? Yeah, I'll put it on so I don't have to get up and do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you say when I'm ready. Honestly. You ready? Should I shut the door so no one's gonna hear yes. I feel as I should be making you dad some dinner. Dinner time. Oh, it's a bit dark now. Ready? <laughs> Hello and welcome to. No, you have to cut all that bit out. This goes on for a while sometimes. It all comes out right once you start going, it's all right. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, oh, should I put some lipstick on? Ready? Yep. Hello and welcome to Rosie's Knitting Shed. I'm Rosie and this is my mum. Hi. I managed to talk her into coming on. It's taken me a year, has it now? A year? To talk mm. you into coming on. Yeah, you, you, you're really lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had my auntie on, I've had Jason on and now you. Poppy. Poppy and Daisy. And Daisy. And Antonio in the background. slightly in yeah. the background. But yeah, so <laughs> my mum. Thought like her. I feel like I look more like my dad. Yeah, so, I warm me up to you. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram Ravelry, I have a look at my Etsy shop. It's all written down below in the box. I will put Mum's Instagram on as well. Can no, I? No, it's not very good. Oh, well. No. I'll put Mum's down below anyway. Yeah, I'm not good at doing that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, where should we start? You start first. So oh, you no. Do you do you um, finish objects? What I'm wearing. I'm very much a plain knitter do not like anything complicated and it has to be simple preferably grey so this is the throwback tea now then yes I'm trying to pronounce it is Wanda Hayes Eichler E-I-C-H-L-E-R from Greywood Designs paid for pattern it's a short sleeve one she's got a short, cardigan on yeah short sleeve one yeah I did a little bit longer sleeve than suggested a little bit longer, body suggested, because I like it a little bit longer. And um, it's done in Rico Baby Classic DK. It's size 40. Um, you got loads of notes on it. And the, the I think the colour is 067. There's no actual name, but it's grey. Plain grey, simple. Very, very soft, obviously. Did Probably for babies, I would say. Baby wool. But it's very soft. I would like it just a little bit bigger. In fact, I'm knitting a bigger one. In a different Is it merino? No, it's actually... Um, I think it's actually... Um, what do you call it? Acrylic. Oh, right. It? Yeah, yeah. So it's very soft. Hopefully will wash really well because it's probably for babies and uh, yeah I actually love it but I do I do like to I do like to wear something to you cover know, a bum there. so yeah it's it's like a t-shirt um supposed to be worn next to your skin so yeah but I, I quite I really like it mm. oh I like it, it too to make another <laughs> kind of different material yeah. should I do one oh and I'm wearing my cowl Oh well, yeah, you can't hold I showed that though. But you've shown that. So, yeah. Um, this yeah. is out of my fairy yeah. dust. Yeah, this is one slug. of Rose's. Uh, but I haven't got any in at the minute. I've yeah. just got um, sock yarn in at the minute. Mm. But yeah, you held it double, didn't you? I do like it. It's nice and tight around my neck. It's actually been really nice weather, but today it's quite cool. So yeah, and I do like it. You've got your phone voice on. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're on the phone. Okay. <laughs> Be careful, honey. <laughs> um, what should I, should I do mine? Okay, so I have finished my cracking the flag sweater. Yay! I have to stand on here to show everyone. Oh, God, do you have a knee click? Okay, so 
Um, it is meant to be a short sleeve top, but I have done it long sleeved. I just blagged it and made random things up. Um, it's blocked out really nicely, the colour work though. It's not really flipping up, is it? Not really. No, I, I, fractionally, maybe. Yeah, it's not really flipping up a lot. Uh, you said but, um, you were supposed to do that. What? Curl at the bottom. Yeah, it's meant to mm. do the curly thing at the bottom. Mm. But um, you're meant to have cast it on with 3.5 needles and then change to 4. But I forgot. So it's all 3.5, which I actually quite like. I think, mm. I feel like... The gauge would be too um the gauge would be too loose. But I did whole length sleeves when it's only meant to be here. You're only meant to pick up the pick up the sleevey things for a little bit. But yeah, so I've done full length sleeves and I made this up. I made it up. Random. But yeah. But I thought I was gonna run out of grey, so I just went green at the end. Mm. Yeah. So, so I love it. Mm. And it's one size, I think. It's a one size pattern. Actually, I think that pattern there that you've made up would look nice if it was like all over. It'd yeah, it would. Over, wouldn't it? I like that. In yeah. those colours particularly. Mm. Yeah, I do like it. I'm quite chuffed with myself. And I've yeah. done um, a twisted rib. Rib? Twisted rib rib. Twisted rib. Here, which I really like. And on the sleeves. Yeah. Woo! I'm chuffed with it. I do like it. And it's long, so it covers my bum like normal. So I can wear it with a pair of leggings. Obviously hereditary. Yeah, it is. We like our bums <laughs> to be covered. Yeah, I don't like my bum being out. Um, <laughs> I just like it covered. Yeah, so that's one. Look at my float as well. Woo! Flashes your floats. So pretty. Yeah, so, love it. Have you got a finished object? Or is that it? That's it, what I'm wearing. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, well, I've got slow. another one. Yeah. I've got another two. So, I haven't shown you this before. This is mm. my, what is it? Um, I've written it down and it's the City Block Shawl by Laura Ayler. And I actually love it. Look at it. Look at it on the thing. Beautiful. I haven't blocked it yet, so it's a bit shooed up. Mm. Yeah. Some of my wool. Yeah, and oh, that's yeah. out of your easy one mm. jumper. Yeah. The flecky one. So I've just done it with random bits I had. So like this green's West Yorkshire Spinners and I've striped it. And then this one's off my Hikari, Hikari, some or other, Kinomi sweater. This one. But that's lace weight. And then this one's DK. But it's, it's all like, it'll block out. It'll be fine. It's a bit ruffled up. But yeah, I actually, it's only taken me three days to knit. Three days, Mum. Yeah, that's cool. I, I would like it. I would like it twice the size though. You do do yeah. a large one. Yeah. They do a large one and they do a smaller version. And I think it was meant to be 3.5 uh, needles I think. But I did, it, I did it in 3.25 and I don't really know why. I just couldn't be bothered looking for a 3.5. So yeah. I really like the colours. I'm definitely... I've already got like it, my other stuff in a bag to cast on another one. So I'm going to cast on I another one. What colours? Well, the mm. same-ish colours because I've still mm. got loads left oh, over right, okay. green look yeah, over yeah. there. Mm. Okay, okay. But I might give it to someone or just keep it. I think Antonia might like it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I like the thought of knitting other people's stuff and then yeah, I just want to keep know. it. Mm -hmm. We know. I knit you socks. Yeah. Thank you. It's alright. I appreciate it. She's right, I knit her some socks. This time last year, what was it, for Mother's Day? And she's already put a hole in them. Which you need to darn. Hmm. Sad. So I'm not knitting her another pair. Or I'll knit you another pair in like opal. You must have like heavy ankles or something. Well, yeah, probably. It's probably my slippers at the time, probably. <laughs> put a hole in them. Yes, yeah, so I'm really chuffed with that. I actually love it. It's pretty. Definitely, knit. it's really fun to knit as well. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. So yeah, and also the pattern isn't striped. I just randomly put the stripes in. It's like a block colour shawl, like on the pattern. But I'll link it down below anyway. Yeah, so that's that. Hmm, very good. Have you got any more? No, no, oh no. Yeah. Oh, well, I've got my socks. <laughs> I'll show my socks. Okay, so 
these i did some socks for daisy and i showed them on my last podcast and i had loads left over so i knit myself some more socks matching they're Did not you do, are you matching no 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 you're matching with daisy you're gonna you're gonna oh, match i don't do socks. i matched daisy's up didn't i mm. and i matched mum's up because she's got like this thing where they both have to be matched but i don't care so like the two different colors well they're not two, two different colored stripes in different areas so I did okay. 64 stitches, 2.25 needles, a twisted rib, heel flap and gusset, slip one, slip stitch, heel flap. Yeah, but my gauge seems looser on them than normal. Nice, nice and soft though. Aren't they? Yeah, they're nice. I like them. Mm. Beautiful. So that's them. Mm. Very nice. Easy peasy, normal vanilla socks. Easy. So me and Daisy can be... Matching. We will have to make Poppy some. But I still haven't given Daisy her socks. I made Poppy a cow, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Then Daisy's, oh, yes. Yeah. yes, that's right. To be fair, and then mm. Daisy didn't want a cow, she wanted socks. Yeah. But she doesn't wear the socks. All she does is put them in a bag and carry them round with her, all of her socks. Doesn't she? Yeah. She doesn't wear them, I don't think. She just carries them. Yeah, they're like little treasures. <laughs> She's funny, isn't she? She has them all balled up in the, in a little bag and she gets them all out and doesn't she lines them up and that. Cute. Yeah. So yeah. So that's them. I like them. So you Very do your whips. Nice Are we on whips? Yeah, well, like I said, I have casted on another throwback tee. In grey again. <laughs> Two sizes up, uh, 44, size 44, which I'm hoping might be just a little bit looser. But this time it is done in Debbie Bliss Cotton Denim DK. Um, oh gosh, colour one, <laughs> dyed four two four. So um, it, it's it's not as soft as this one that I'm wearing, but um, I like it. It probably will be a little bit cooler, perhaps. I'm hoping I might finish it before the end of summer, perhaps. But uh, I doubt it. But anyway, um, anyway, yeah. So it's it's sort of. Um, yeah, and I've done the, the everything more or less that they've said to do. The ribbing around the, the neck. Oh, that's the wrong way. There we go. And then obviously I have not got to the part where you split the sleeves. But uh, yeah, obviously, favourite colour. <laughs> <laughs> it goes uh, with your hair though. Um, hmm? like it goes with the colour of your hair. Thanks. Yeah? Is that a compliment? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> it is actually. actually. Yeah, and on four millimetre needles, so yeah, which I haven't, oh, I never swatch, so uh, you just take I don't eat either, take that after you. I've got to risk it, I'm afraid. Yeah, so I'm not sure how many balls, I, I, I do have a few of these, but I'm not sure how many I'm going to need, so I'm going to do the sleeves first to how long I want them, and then I'm just going to knit until I've finished the whole lot of, it, of this. What, so you're going to do long sleeves? No. No, sure. I like that. I like this short sleeve. Anyway, so that's um, yeah, that's what I'm doing with that now. So yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna plow on. Simple, no short rows, <laughs> nothing. Just basically yarn all. Doesn't like wrap and turns. It's not like no. <laughs> you know, obviously I can do all those things, but you know, I'd rather not. Really, so yeah. you do loads of things. Well, yeah, I've been knitting a long time, but yeah, I. I no, I don't, I don't want to complicate everything, so I just make it sort of simple, yeah. <laughs> and the other thing that I'm on with, I, I have a pair of socks, always have a pair of socks, always have a jumper, and normally a cowl, but this time I've got something else, so, um, but yeah, so the socks I'm, uh, oh, I've been working on for ages. Since, ages. Since when I was going with... Um, about ten years. I knit in the car with Antonia and the girls waiting for school and things. Um, and this actually, you know, I can knit socks, but I generally knit them top down, the same as Rosie, just normal heel flap and gusset, etc. And then you get to the toe. But this time I've been following, I've been watching Tina from Simpl Simply in Stitches, and she's done a sock knitting tutorial on nine inch circulars. I have this thing where I wanted to try and knit on on circulars so I've, I've sort of managed it I've gone down a needle size to what I normally do because I seem to be very very loose 
You normally do DPNs, don't you? I normally do DPNs, which I like. Um, but yeah, this is this is lovely. I love this. Um, this is Rose's wool that I pinched. It's not my. It's not my hand dyed. No, wool. no, not hand dyed, but something you had on the shelf here. But while she was at work, I, I thought, oh, yeah, I'll use that. So that's Regia cotton. So I greatly intended to have it done for summer. But What's the colour? Want. I always get confused with these colours, look, because it's like. Yeah, it's whatever. A, it's it's a number. Is that German? Possibly. Um, I think that's just the number. I don't know. I'll show yeah. the number. But obviously, the colour, the, the colours are nice. They're a bit muted, aren't they? Those colours. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I like it. Can I show? Should I show it? Yeah. Might be next summer by the in a while. Next summer by the time I get the second one done. I'm not sure whether I'm going to have enough wool really to do. You got all, like you got massive feet. You haven't got that big a feet. I don't like them tight though, that's for sure. I like them. Um, I like them really tight, so like, they're like really tight socks. Yeah, no, I like them loose. I like the total opposite. I'm, I'm, I'm actually at the toe bit, I'm not like casting off now, so yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. them. And honestly, she's, yeah. I, I've watched uh, Simply in Stitches before, you know, a long time ago. Um, yeah, and she, she's really good. She's really good at explaining things. She's got a few yeah. tutorials, hasn't she? Yeah, she's got quite I a few. I think she's got the yeah, wool city pattern. roller it's socks on it. It's a free pattern, it. obviously, because, you know, she wouldn't do it without being free. She's, she's got Hermione socks on it, hasn't yeah. she? Yeah. She's got loads of stuff on well, it. Like uh, whose socks were they? Let's see that sock pattern. It was from a free pattern uh, called My Favourite Vanilla Socks from the unapologeticknitter.com. Is that what Tina did it off? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so that's really, yeah. So I'm quite, yeah, I quite like using the circulars. I got used to them, really. But I do, yeah, I do you said like, you didn't like them. No, at first I didn't. Because I used them, actually, way before you even started knitting. But, they, but my knitting was so loose, so I just packed it in and kept on with the D, uh, DPN. So I thought I'd try it and go down a needle size, so that's what I've done. Yeah, I like Perfect. them. Perfect, yeah. So that's really... Oh, and the last, last but not least, and then obviously Rosie, you can... Continue. <laughs> uh, instead of a cowl, I have a. I had a thing to try and find a throw for my uh, bed, no, and um, I couldn't find one. So I decided because I had some of this cross. It's quite long, isn't it? Yeah. Why? Um, it's going to be wide. That's why. Wide. With yeah. Uh, West Yorkshire spinners, the Croft uh, Shetland tweed. I did knit a, a jumper, which I gave. To Antonia, um, but I had a, a a couple of these left, so I thought I would use these held double to make do a throw in moss stitch. That's what that is, moss stitch, and it's really quite thick. It is, isn't it? It's like, it... and I think it'll lay quite nicely Poofy. on. Yeah, it'll lay lay not once it's off needles and everything. It'll lay quite nicely on the bed. <sighs> as long as I don't make a mistake. Smell it. Lovely. Yep. Nice. Sheepy, sheepy. And then so I quite like that. It's going to take me forever, obviously. You've done quite a lot on it. Yeah, I try to do some... I, 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 I do uh, sit in bed and do it, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Poor bed. Watching podcasts. In my nice basket. Oh yeah, yeah the basket. Where's the basket? bought me, Lynn bought me. That was from, yeah. um, that was from, um, Cockermouth. Cockermouth. Wool Festival, wasn't it? Yeah. Which probably won't be on this year. I haven't even, well, it won't be, will it? It's in June. Which is really sad because it's my favourite one. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah, I like it, yeah. The next yeah. one after that it's is Yarndale, I think. In, is that in September usually? Yes. September, so that October, might. October, is it? Hopefully, maybe, mm. could be on. Do you reckon? Who knows, really? Scary times. Who knows? Mm. Yeah, but love it. Yeah. I like that basket. It's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Hmm. So, so really, that's all I have, really. Is that all that's you really? All yep. You're saying really as if you've got something else. No. I only like to have three things. Well, I, I don't even like three things. I can't do three things. Something never gets done, ever. Well, generally, I work on a jumper if I'm in around the house. I work on socks if I'm in the car. And obviously now with my blanket, in bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
What what should I do? I'll do what I have bought, should I? Okay. Oh no, what whips? Well I've only got one whip, haven't I? Where where's my whip? So I put this in a shower bag because the shower bag's dead pretty look. It's got flowers on it, but it's a shower bag. It's got plastic on the inside. But who cares? At least my uh, if it rains and my yarn is outside, it won't get wet, will it? Or will it? No, no, probably not. It won't oh. get wet. Hmm. So, I am knitting a pair of socks um, using, how do you pronounce that? Sylvan, Sylvan, Sylvan? Yeah, Sylvan Tiger. Sylvan yeah. Tiger. Sylvan Tiger, yeah. yeah. Sylvan Tiger in the colourway Explosion in a Dye Factory. And it's got a cute little tiger on it, look. And I got this ages ago at a little festival we went to in... Um, where did we go? That little one in Yorkshire. Oh, in um, Ilkley. In Ilkley. Mm. Um, so I got this there, and there was only about how many stalls were there? About fifteen. Oh, not many. There was only was about fifteen stalls. Little... Yeah, it was in like a little um, uh, town hally thing. So yes, yeah, so this is the yarn, and look how pretty it is. It's beautiful. And I have only done a cuff up to now, up to there. But I am knitting, I'm knitting a pattern sock and I can't remember what it's called, it's called Part of Your World Socks by Nicola Bracey and um, it's like a slip stitch pattern. I've done a slip stitch pattern before um, and I really love it but the problem is it's like a bit like colour work is that you knit tighter with it because obviously you're carrying your wool on the front instead of the back and then catching it so you get like a cool pattern. I'll insert a picture of the socks here. Ta da! You have to, you have to do a glamorous assistant. Ta da! Oh, sorry. Your phone's vibrating. Oh, yeah, okay. So, just like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my sock. And, yeah. I'll, I'll ring back. Ring back. Yeah. yeah. So, they're going to be lovely. And that's the only thing I've got on. I've got ready some wool for another is it city blocks shawl and that's it I think that's all my whips which isn't usual is it I've got oh, at least really? two well, you're gonna have to go so through. yeah well I've got I've got three finished got objects it, in, all, in all like a week wool. it has to like just look nice for a while on shore collecting dust yeah collecting dust <laughs> so my what I have bought so I bought some yarn from Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit. Um, it smells really nice. It's beautiful. Look at the colours. And this is called Liberty Love. And it's um, sock yarn, 80% Poldale and 20% nylon. And it's got a little rabbit on it. Look how cute that is. And then she has given me a gift. And um, it says a gift from mm. Mrs. Rabbit. And look at them! Aren't Beautiful. they gorgeous? Gorgeous. In fact, I really would. Can I have a look at that pink? Ooh. You're not allowed it. Can I just see what that looks like? Oh, yeah. I can't get a cow out of that, but anyway. <laughs> some more of that would be nice. Well, she might have some pink mm. on it, on her thing. We'll have a look. Ooh. But it smells really nice. And, she, um, hold on, hold on. Where did I put that little thing? She has made a little lavender pouch with Liberty fabric to go with the with the yarn. Look how gorgeous that is. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And I love the, the logo, the Very rabbit. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so I'll link them down below. They've got lots of um, Eastery colours in at the minute. And um, they do a lot of Liberty colours. And I love Liberty. I've done it. I, not that I sew a lot, but I did sew a top, didn't I? Yeah. Well... Me and Mum sewed the top together. Yeah. And uh, I did it out Quite of a stressful day, old hold. Yeah, it was. I did it out <laughs> of uh, Liberty fabric. Um and it was really stressful. I'm not a sewer. I don't think I'll ever make a sewer. I I, I would like to be a sewer. The thought of it but I'm is not good. Very good at it. But no. the whole the whole thing of it and like it's when my you knitting, fantasy self. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? What's your fantasy well, self? It's where I've got loads of material and, and cotton and I, I have this vision of making things and making clothes I never get around to doing it and if I do I find it stressful so I don't do it 
But yeah, so we made a we made it we uh, we made a bag once, and it was a nightmare. I don't understand well, how I find it so hard. You do hard. appreciate how talented people are at making these bags. Yeah, and um, really? the bag was like, oh how did it end up the inside ended up inside out? Yeah, didn't it? Oh, it was weird. Yeah. But I still got it actually. Yeah. Should I show them? I'll show them. <laughs> Where is it? Oh no! Oh, my needles. Oh mind, I've got bare feet as well. <laughs> Stuck in there. <laughs> I'll sort it out in a bit. Okay, this is my um this is my bag. And it's a bit like a uh, liberty, isn't it? Sort of. And it looks good from the outside, doesn't it? <laughs> and then flip it inside out. Oh, we we went wrong. Oh, I've got a bit of yarn in there and it's a nightmare. Yeah. We went wrong. I have no idea how we went wrong though. The, the instructions are really hard to follow though, weren't they? Mm. But we're not, we're not sewers. I did try making a, I did make a quilt. You did, that's I've made nice. a quilt that's yes. on the back of that chair over there. Yeah, that's nice. Should yeah. show them that as well. And this I'm quite proud of. It is lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. And it's got loads of like mm. autumn, oh. autumn scenes on. I did it in a day. Beautiful. But the problem is, I get obsessed with things, right? And I have to finish things quickly. And I had to finish that in a whole day, didn't I? Yeah, that's the thing. You want it's like jumpers, though. You want it to be done, finished in a week. But you yeah, know, six months later, I'm still doing it. And then I bought loads of um, what are they called? What are the squares called? They're called an air match work. I bought loads of squares to make a big one, and um, I sewed only half of them together, and then I've been them having I recently. I thought I'd never do it. No, I didn't, you didn't, well, I, I rescued them. Why did you rescue them? Well, I thought there might be a shortage of toilet roll, so I thought we might have to use them. What are we going to do, flush them? No, no, you'd have to do something else with them, but I, it, was, it was, everything was so panicky, wasn't put them it? In a, put them in a Tesco bag, after you've used them somewhere. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I just thought it was wasteful, so I kept it. I kept them. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you could use them, if a, you know, you could put a, a bit of disinfectant on it and use it, wipes, things like that. Can't throw anything away. I thought you were going to say use them again then. Oh no. <laughs> Ew. No. Where was I Anyway, I have them in reserve, let's put it that way. Um, <laughs> that's a bit, the thought of that's making me cringe a bit. So yeah, so, uh, where are we up to? My wall. You can edit that out, by the way. Why? Well, toilet talk. Don't mind. Um, so we are going to talk about my yarn. So this is, you hold that one. This one is the Snapdragon Fairy. And these are all in the shop if you want to go and have a look in the shop. I feel really far away from the camera. So I'd like to stand up. So it's beautiful. And I'm going to knit some socks out of it myself. And it's got oranges, pinks, purples, black speckles. Beautiful. I have got the bird's foot trefoil fairy, I called it, and it's a bit of a mouthful, I don't know why I called it that now. Beautiful. But, um, mm. yeah, it's beautiful. And it's a very speckled yarn. And these are all on 70% merino, 20% nylon. So, the next one is the skiller fairy, and that's blue. And it's a bit like a tonal, but then I've got a few speckles in there too. Lovely. And I've got the Horn Poppy Fairy, and that's mustard yellows, some reds. You can see that one. I like the blues actually. Well, it goes with your hair. <laughs> you should wear more blue. Blue. I have got the Yew Tree Fairy, and that's on Yak actually. I lie, there's one on Yak. I have got the Polyanthus and Grape Hyacinth Fairy. It's a bit of a messy skein that one. Just hold it a little bit, it, hold it to the camera and keep it steady for a second. I know but I find it hard, mm. I need to keep moving. I know but you can't, when you're, when you're watching the video and then you can't, I know, but it, it sort of doesn't focus very well. It's like my arm, I just need to keep moving my arms all the time. Uh, this one is a turtle's journey. We'll have to keep it, keep it still. Just a second or two. Um, I've got the Sycamore oh, yeah. Tree Fairy, 
Or is yeah. it the Sycamore Fairy? I can't remember. The Sycamore Fairy. Beautiful. I have got Ocean Foam. I like that one. You, mm, you this one nice in that well, one as well. Colour wise, there's nothing that, um, that they're all beautiful. I have got the Sweet Pea Fairy. Lovely. Smells nice. I have got a Unicorn's Tail. And they're really bright. I thought because of the times. We need something bright. How, how many of those have you got? Uh, three, uh, two. Two. Two left. Mm, I like that. I Is have it? got the Violet Fairy. Purples and greens and olivey greens. And this one's a random one and it hasn't got a name but it's on the shop. I just um, sucked up some of the leftover dye I had and put a few speckles in yeah love it so I think that's everything mum have you got anything? Uh, I have the um, I have I don't have much water in you've got hair in your mouth I, I, I don't have what do they call it um, stash I do not have a lot of stash I have one skein of the knit style wool that I'm really wanting to knit a shawl with so I'm saving that until I come across the right pattern so um beautiful because it's sort of in the bedroom um and I think I haven't got any other wool at all are you going to come on again in six months maybe when I when I finish this other job <laughs> when I finish <laughs> the socks <laughs> takes us so long to knit doesn't it I think that's everything done okay. Okay then, so, um, it's nice to see everyone, I hope everyone is say, sorry, staying safe and not going out and if you don't have to go out, whereas I have to go back to work scary. next week, is it next mm. week? So I'll have yeah, to go out then. Monday, which is scary prospect, yeah. But, mm. yeah, but I'll, um, I'll take my clothes off when I get to the back door, <laughs> I'll wash my hands. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, everything yeah. will go in a hot wash and she'll dye everything black, even my pink bras. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I hope to stay safe and have a look at my Etsy shop because I've got quite a lot in at the minute and add me on Instagram and all that boring stuff. Okay then, bye! Bye! <laughs> right, okay, so now we have to pause for a thumbnail. Are you ready? Oh, God. Oh.